right, so here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense from New York. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. Mike Tyson steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Tyson. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, Mike Tyson and John Jones. It just does not get a whole lot better than this. And Mike Tyson, despite being on the wrong end of the MMA experience equation, believes that he's got the faster hands, the better footwork, and he's ready to put it on Johnny Bones here tonight. There's no question about that. Tyson does have the better footwork. Tyson does have the faster hands. But can he match the IQ of John Jones? Can he match the smarts and the wits of John Jones with all that championship level experience inside the octagon? Time to find out right now. Crisp boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. All right, so as you expected, takedowns would come in bunches. He gets one there and not much resistance from his boxing opponent. He knew that the boxer was going to be more upright in his stance and understood that if he could get to the hips, he would be able to score and land these beautiful takedowns. Nice one-two combination there. Great body kick there. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winkle John told me before the fight we haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. North-South, we'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Oh, he's got a strong grip on that arm. He I don't starts, know. He starts to extend the elbow. 
had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Establishing the jab. South position now. We'll see who transitions first. Big ground and pound. Tyson getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Great shot from the top position. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get back up. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but I hit him again. Oh, he hurt him again. Fighter separate from the clinch now. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very right. careful with it as we go forward. Second round, straight ahead. Well, DC, this is what the fans paid to come and see. Multiple knockdowns on one side. Ready. Ready. All right, second round underway. Jones gets... Now he's back up. Nice jab. Jones gets stunned there by that stiff jab. Punch got blocked there. Oh, Jones gets the double leg -like takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. All right, so he just decides to get up here. He's hurt now. Oh, big, big shots here. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one calf, I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Jones going for the takedown, he misses. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout iron, Mike Tyson. So iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the pudding. Another big win for Tyson here tonight. And now you can start to think about matchmaking this guy moving forward. He might draw some names in the top five. Huge win for Mike Tyson with the odds stacked against him here tonight.